Welcome back into Stud Rankings, where today I'm going to rank all 30 Major League Baseball scoreboards. I've never done a video like this. I've ranked jerseys, I've ranked ballparks. Now I'm going in depth inside the ballparks and ranking each and every big league scoreboard. Now, before we get into the rankings, there's a little chart here that I saw on Reddit. Now, this is 2023 census. So some teams have updated their scoreboards since then, but it gives you a little bit of an idea of how big or small some of these scoreboards are compared to others. Without further ado, let's get into it. Leading us off, the worst ranked scoreboard in Major League Baseball. It goes to Oriole Park at Camden Yards. The Baltimore Orioles have the worst scoreboard in all of baseball. And I know Camden Yards gets a good rap for being a good ballpark. I'm not saying it's a bad ballpark, but the scoreboard to me is one of, if not the worst redeeming factor about Camden Yards. Number 29, Bush Stadium. I also know Bush Stadium gets a pretty good rap as well amongst ballpark critiquers. For me, Bush Stadium, the scoreboard is one of the worst things as well. It's a very small scoreboard. It's not really modernized, and they could really use some modernization on that scoreboard. 28, now this may surprise some people, and I hate to be this harsh, but it's going to be Yankee Stadium. And I'm putting Yankee Stadium at 28 because... There are so many ads out there in the outfield. I know Yankee Stadium is iconic. I would love to visit Yankee Stadium. But if they could just do one big giant scoreboard, I think that would be beneficial to everybody. So I expect in the next renovation that they're going to do a whole new outfield scoreboard. Just one big blob out there. It could do some work. Number 27, American Family Field. American Family Field is going to receive renovations, formerly known as Miller Park, of course, but American Family Field receiving renovations upcoming really soon, and I expect their scoreboard to get some work. Same thing at 26 with Chase Field. Similar approach as American Family with the center field design. It's just one big gigantic wall, and it just doesn't look very professional out there, so... Chase Field could use some upgrades. I would love to see Chase Field remain as a Diamondbacks home ballpark for many years to come. Remodernizing the scoreboard is the first step. Number 25, PNC Park. As great as PNC Park is for their views, their scoreboard is very lackluster. It's a very small scoreboard, and I get it. You want to have the, you know, the buildings in the background as the main attraction, but to me, PNC Park could really use a nice scoreboard and they just got an update but to me it still is lacking any sort of charm special feature about it number 24 great american ballpark great american ballpark has a pretty big scoreboard and it's one of those big scoreboards that is just kind of lost in the sauce you don't really even think about it when it comes to great american ballpark the first thing you think about is definitely not the scoreboard and it's a big scoreboard but yeah it just I don't know, it just doesn't really fit in. Again, it's not the worst scoreboard. You're getting into the not worst territory, but not great territory. Number 23, Oracle Park. Oracle Park is a beautiful ballpark. There's no doubt about that. Oracle Park center field scoreboard. Yeah, it, it could use some work. I, I'm not sure what you could do to it. I don't know if it's just the design out there in center field, but um, for me, it just doesn't really have anything special about it. And my ring light just went out number 22 is going to be dodger stadium now this is my home ballpark dodger stadium like other ballparks dodger stadium has two scoreboards in left and right field but with dodger stadium they are both the exact same versions of each other and left and right field one is not bigger than the other they're the same thing and uh, it's dodger stadium I, I have no problem with the dodger scoreboards number 21 oakland coliseum now as bad as oakland coliseum is their scoreboards are decent. Now they are in the worst position possible, but that being said, pretty decent scoreboards for the Oakland Coliseum. A lot better than some of the other ones I have just listed. Number 20, T-Mobile Park. T-Mobile Park, this is about as basic as a scoreboard as you will come across. It gets the job done. 19, Minute Maid Park. Minute Maid Park in Houston. They also got a recent scoreboard renovation. Nothing really crazy that changed. Um, it's a good scoreboard. Again, this is not the bad territory. This is the mediocre territory. And 19 is Man Made Park. Number 18, Globe Life Field. One of the brand new ballparks in Major League Baseball. And Globe Life Field, I have to say, it's a modern scoreboard. But my goodness, the location of the scoreboard is terrible. It's like all the way up in the sky in right field. I just think it's a horrible location. Number 17, Truist Park. Truist Park in Atlanta. This is about as 
average of a scoreboard as you will come across right near the middle 17 it's a nice modern scoreboard there's nothing really unique about it number 16 lone depot park in miami lone depot park um, a nice little modern stadium just gets a bad rap because of the low fan attendance in Miami. The Lone Depot Park scoreboard is certainly a decent scoreboard. Number 15, Tropicana Field. Now right dead in the middle comes Tropicana Field. Again, one of the worst red stadiums in baseball, but yet their scoreboard isn't half bad. I like their scoreboard. It fits in Tropicana Field, nice and modern. I dig it. Number 14, Fenway Park. Now I've read it, Fenway Park and the Red Sox in the bottom on a lot of things, but their scoreboard is not going to be one of them. I kind of like their scoreboard. It's not huge by any means, but it gets the job done. I do like the John Hancock signature above the scoreboard. Right in front of it is going to be its counterpart, Wrigley Field at number 13. Wrigley Field, super iconic. And I really love the renovations they did at Wrigley Field with the scoreboards. And the left field scoreboard here is a really nice, simple, but yet effective scoreboard in left field. Number 12, Guaranteed Rate Field. Again, one of the lower ranked ballparks. Guaranteed Rate Field has a unique charm to it with the candy canes on top. It's a pretty big, decent sized scoreboard. And so for that, I give it a good rating at number 12. Number 11, Angel Stadium. Angel Stadium also went to a recent renovation of a brand new scoreboard a couple of years back. And this scoreboard has worked wonders for the Angels. There's nothing special about it, but it's pretty big. And because it is so big, I kind of like it. Number 10, City Field. City Field also expanded their scoreboard that was already pretty huge and made it bigger. Now, I like the City Field on top of the scoreboard, but they took away the Let's Go Mets. They got to bring back Let's Go Mets somewhere around the scoreboard. Number nine, Nationals Park. Now, I think Nationals Park has the ability to be a top five scoreboard in baseball if they made it bigger. It's not as big as it could be. There's a lot of ads around it. So if they could just expand the scoreboard at Nationals Park, get a renovation going, expand that scoreboard. I love the W. I love the OG Nationals font around it. It's always attracted me when it comes to Nationals Park. I love the Nationals Park scoreboard. Number eight, we have Rogers Center. So Rogers Center over a bunch of renovations and their scoreboard was one of those renovations. Nice little modern sleek look here to the scoreboard. They are really doing Toronto fans a favor by modernizing that ballpark and the scoreboard is reaping the benefits. Number seven, Petco Park. It's hard to rank Petco Park below number 10 in anything. And I have their scoreboard coming in at number seven. Went over a renovation a few years back. SD and HD, I'm not sure if they still call it that, but with that being said, the Petco Park scoreboard, it's huge. It gets the job done out there in left field. Number six, I have Kauffman Stadium. Now, I have Kauffman Stadium because it is in center field. Not that I'm saying center field is my favorite spot for a scoreboard because it's not really, but I do like that they have that one gigantic scoreboard in center field and they have the crown on top. The crown on top is a nice little touch. So if and when the Royals do get a brand new ballpark, they need to incorporate the crown. Number five, Comerica Park. Now, I just recently saw this renovation to the scoreboard and I really dig it, especially here in this photo. It looks phenomenal, even though the Detroit Tiger City Connect uniforms are terrible, but in this little picture here, I like the eyes there. Comerica Park scoreboard, got a renovation. Of course, known for the Tiger top of the scoreboard, and that's always been a nice little touch there. So Comerica Park comes in at number five for me. At number four, we have Citizens Bank Park. Citizens Bank Park. Had a nice scoreboard before and it got even better by expanding the scoreboard by just a little bit more and i've always loved the Phillies on top of the scoreboard i love when teams incorporate their team names or team script across the scoreboard i think it looks really nice and the Phillies do it just right number three is going to be target field in minneapolis minnesota so got a renovation recently on their scoreboard and i think it looks fantastic and i also think the twins font on top of the scoreboard looks just as fantastic i love that like i mentioned with the phillies it just brings that charm you know you're playing a target field when you look up at that scoreboard into the twins right on top of it just missing the cut at number one is going to be progressive field now i think this is the biggest scoreboard in baseball progressive field a wide scoreboard covering pretty much all of left field the longest scoreboard at least for sure maybe not the biggest but the longest it looks good they have the guardians font like i mentioned i love that across on top of the scoreboard and it comes in right here 
at number two. So that means number one on the scoreboard list in Major League Baseball is going to be Coors Field. Coors Field for me is taking the cake as the best scoreboard in baseball. Why is Coors Field taking the cake? Because I love how unique it is. You have like the Rockies incorporated in the scoreboard, the Rockies logo incorporated in the scoreboard. I love that so much. No other team has their logo incorporated in the scoreboard. I, you know, like I mentioned, they have their team names on top of it, but the Rockies have it literally engraved in the scoreboard. And I love that they have like different logos on the top of it, depending on what jersey they're wearing or whatever. So I love that so much. And so for me, the Rockies scoreboard at Coors Field, it's big, it's bold, and it's unique. Takes the cake at number one. That's going to do it here on Ranking Major League Baseball Scoreboard. Drop a comment for your favorite or non-favorite scoreboard. And as always, let me know what I should rank next.